Today's video is sponsored by Magic Spoon. Mirror, mirror on the wall, how do my farm animals react to it all? You know, a viewer actually recently sent me a note and asked if I had seen how my animals react to mirror, which is, if you can't tell, what I've got right here. And while I've seen a number of videos online of animals reacting crazily to mirrors, I've actually never done anything with my farm animals in a mirror. And so I figured I would take these mirrors around with me this morning while I do my farm chores and see how my farm animals react to the mirrors. Let's get this great experiment started. Good morning, large white farm dogs. How are you guys doing, huh? All right, come on out. How's it going, guys? <laughs> I think they saw me setting up the mirrors and I think they're already curious. Or maybe not. <laughs> I think Abby's the first to notice. Toby Dog sees it, but kind of ignores it. He's much more interested in probably marking his territory as he does every single morning. Sniffing for sniffs, smelling for smells. Meanwhile, Abby, she's also just sort of curiously exploring this morning, but nobody really seems to care about the mirrors whatsoever. I'm not all that surprised that the dogs aren't interested in the mirrors. I mean, dogs are creatures driven so strongly by scent and a mirror just smells like not a living organism. So in this instance, I would not see my dogs being significantly fooled by the mirrors. And yes, they're much more interested in going to visit the cattle than anything else. Let's see if I can convince them to explore with me, huh? Come here, dog, come! Abby, come! Abby, do you see this dog here? Abby, come here. Hey, what's that? What's that? You see? What's that? What do you see? What do you see there? Anything? You don't even remotely care, do you? Huh? What's this? Wait, Abby, Abby, what's this? What's this one? What's this? What's this? What is that? Well, I guess the guard dogs don't want to guard against mirrors. Maybe Toby's just a little bit more curious about these mirrors. What do you see, Toby? Anything of interest? No? Oh, looks like Toby got a little curious. He sees the other dog. He's like, who is that? <laughs> All right, so it seems like Toby got a little bit curious about the mirror. Abby could not care less. I can't tell if you're curious about the mirror or you just want to go visit with Macho Man and Joey Ramone. Who's that doggy in the window? Huh? Do you know that that's you? I don't know, I can't tell if you know that that's you. All right, come with me, dogs. Apparently you guys are too smart to be fooled by these mirrors. Yeah? Too smart? Yeah. You're like, what's, what is this? All right, well, let's see what the other animals think. This video could turn out to be a bust. Inside, let's go guys, come on. Good girl. Boy, hey Toby, are those Toby tumbleweeds I'm seeing on the ground? Yeah, the dogs are beginning their spring shed right now. It's actually supposed to be wicked warm today. I think it might even get up to 80 degrees, which for an April in Vermont is crazy. Yeah, the ducks have been trying to sneak out a lot lately. While I'm pumping water, I'm gonna set up this camera and mirror and we can see how the birds react. Good morning, birds. How's everybody doing today, huh? Oh boy. We got eggs scattered everywhere. You ducks are even laying eggs in your food dish. What do you think about that, Toby? All right, we're gonna set this mirror up right here. Yeah, you're not fooled, are you, girl? And I'm gonna take this mirror and I'm gonna set it up right here. What do you think? Is that good placement? Who is that handsome fellow looking back at you, huh, pal? Can you tell? And I'll be back in a little bit to see how things go. A few minutes later. <laughs> The birds definitely had a more interesting reaction than the dogs did. Particularly the chickens seem mesmerized. Let's see how they react when they have more food as well as more competition for their food. Overall, 
farm egg production is going really well right now. The ducks are going full force, chickens are full force. The one thing I'm a little bit concerned about is the geese are not laying nearly as much as I'd hoped. I'm getting ready to set my second batch of goose eggs and I only have like half a dozen to set and so I'm a little bit concerned about that right now. But speaking of setting eggs, let's see how the mother goose who's sitting on some chicken eggs is doing and how she will react to this mirror. Good morning, mother goose. What do you think? She does not like the mirror. Sorry again, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to disrupt the party. So yes, I'm actually very glad that I got her up off her nest. It had been a couple of days since I'd looked underneath and counted her eggs. It looks like she only has a couple of chicken legs still underneath there, which is disappointing. I saw that she kicked out a couple of eggs the other day, and so I knew that she was rejecting a few of the chicken eggs, but it looks like she rejected most of the chicken eggs, which is disappointing. The other thing that's really confusing is there are a bunch of duck eggs underneath her as well, and so I don't know how a duck has been sneaking in there given how protective she has been of that nest. But none of those signs bode well for our experiment of having a goose hatch out some chickens. So while the animals are busy checking themselves out in the mirror, it's probably the perfect time to talk to you guys about today's video sponsor, Magic Spoon. And I absolutely love Magic Spoon because it is cereal reinvented. Magic Spoon has been a long time sponsor here at Goldshaw Farm. And as you guys know, I'm a big time cereal addict. And what I love so much about Magic Spoon is I'm able to get a high protein, zero sugar, meal in those cereal flavors that I love. All you gotta do is go on the Magic Spoon website, put together your own box where you can mix and match flavors. They've got a wide variety of flavors from the old standbys like peanut butter, chocolate, fruit, and frosted, as well as the fact that they also have some really cool interesting flavors like birthday cake or maple waffle or cinnamon roll. And once you place your order, the boxes show up at your house and all you gotta do is add some milk. My Magic Spoon cereals have zero grams of sugar, 13 or 14 grams of protein and four or five net grams of carbs in each serving. Magic Spoon is high protein, keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, and soy free. So click the link down below and you'll get your own Magic Spoon delivered right to your door. Of course, I can't eat my Magic Spoon without my literal Magic Spoon. And if you use my special offer code, you're gonna be able to get $5 off of your variety pack order. And Magic Spoon is so confident that you're gonna love this cereal just as much as I do. It's backed by a 100% happiness guarantee. If you don't like it, send it back and you'll get your money back. No questions asked. So what are you waiting for? Click on the link down below and use the special offer code right there and you can start eating your own Magic Spoon today. And thanks again for sponsoring today's video, Magic Spoon. I should probably get back outside and see how the animals are doing. Just as soon as I finish my Magic Spoon. Yeah, pretty much all the snow is gone at this point. Got a little bit underneath the shade of the woods, but other than that, most of the snow is gone. How's it going there, Jemima Puddle Duck? I'm getting ready to announce some things related to the new Toby Dog book that's coming this fall. In case you guys didn't know it, Jemima Puddle Duck actually plays a pretty large role in that story. And so I'm excited to share that with you guys. Uh, but the other ducks are enjoying the mud. Some of them have figured out how to slip in between this fence. I actually just put up the poultry netting yesterday 
so that they can get out into here. I actually don't want to give them access to the pond this spring because ultimately the pond is going to be redone once I start bringing water in from the spring down there so that it goes through there and then cycles back down through here. So this little stream that's forming that you see the ducks swimming in right here, that's going to be part of our whole new aqua system, which is going to be one of the major projects on the farm this summer. Speaking of major projects, I also have to spend some time today working on getting the pig yard together. I just got the text message that the pigs are coming very, very soon. And so that's going to mean I need to set up the pig yard, which is going to start right over there. So basically I'm going to set up a training yard right in this area that you see right about here. And then as the summer moves on, they're going to move into these woods over here down along the stream bank, not actually in the stream, but I want them to clear out this whole area. Kind of like all of this scrub brush that you see here. This is where they're going to spend most of their summer running through the edge of these woods along the fence line. My hope is to reclaim a bit more pasture next year in this area behind me and I'm going to use the pigs to help me do it. Now let's go have a moment of zen with our weird chickens and a mirror. Good morning weird chickens. Set one mirror down just like this. Add some food to attract them. Weird chicken moment of zen. Hey Molly Murder Mittens. Hey Molly Murder Mittens, would you care to participate in an experiment? Molly. Oh, have you scared her away? I was really hoping to catch what like the cats think of the mirror, but maybe that'll be later in this video. Hey Joey Ramon, I got a surprise for you. I like surprises, oh boy. Doesn't seem like Joey Ramone's all that interested, but I wonder what our bull Macho Man thinks of it. Hey, Macho Man, come here, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. All right, we're gonna have you take a look at the mirror. You come with me. Hey, Pablo Barncat, you care to help me out in the name of science? Come on, pal, come with me. Come on, Jeannie. I got to admit, I'm genuinely curious to see how barn cats are going to respond to this. Well, it doesn't seem like the barn cats are all that interested in the mirrors. I would say that the pattern that I've noticed throughout this entire video is birds are absolutely fascinated by the mirrors, but mammals seem to find them to be a little bit of an oddity and curiosity. But once they realize it's not anything that smells like another mammal, they give up on it pretty gosh darn quick. Even when I went inside to feed Lil Barn Cat, she gave it a quick glance and was maybe a little bit curious, but she was much more focused on her food as soon as I put it in front of her. And speaking of food, I probably have some hungry barn cats, so wait one moment. Okay, come on, hang hunger cats. Here you go, guys. Enjoy. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this latest episode, and I'll be back again real soon with another video. And yes, I gotta go set up the pig area. Mm -hmm.